cookies. We are going to be practicing a super fun class today. Uh, grab yourself a strap, grab yourself a block. Actually, I do that as well. Alright, got my block, got my strap. We're going to be working our shoulders, we're going to work our core, and we're just going to have fun. So, let's get started. So come to the um, front of your mat, grab hold of your strap, legs hip width distance. We're going to just start with a few shoulder rolls. So arms nice and wide, take it wider than the shoulders. So you can keep your elbows bent in this part if you'd like. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, drop it down. Inhale. And exhale. Couple rounds of that. Inhale. And exhale, keep your core working even here, so belly drawn in towards the lower back. And exhale, I'm going to do two more. And exhale, inhale. Ooh, I can feel the shoulders working. And inhale, last one. And lift. If you're sitting on the desk all day, this is just an excellent way to but I'm going to do one more to just practice and do a, maybe the start of the day or on your desk or even in the evening. So you can practice this anywhere actually. If you don't have a strap, you can always just grab a belt. So that's all I need from the strap. So just going to um, take my left arm over, use my right, hand, right arm to just squeeze that in. And the other side, right arm over, squeeze it in into me. Elbow, inner elbow, and release. Let's straight away start with Surya Namaskar A. So feet pressing into the ground, big toes touching heels slightly away from each other, arms beside the body, navel releasing gently towards the lower back. So you're just using your lower abdomen muscles here, arms beside the body. Close your eyes and just take two breaths here, feeling yourself ground. If you feel like setting an intention for the practice, do that here. Whether it's to be present, whether it's to feel grateful. I'm just going to go with taking it as it comes for myself. So, theme for the class today, if I may call it, I'm just going to take it as it goes. Choosing the options working for me today, how my body feels today. In Surya Namaskar, inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale into a forward bend. It's the first one, so bend your knees if you need. Release your crown, sway a few times. That's fine, choosing your options. Inhale, palms on the shin, lengthen the spine. Exhale, step back into a plank. Nice and slow, feeling the body warm up. Drop your knees, elbows hugged in, release into a push up and into the mat. Flatten the feet, inhale, no cobra. Exhale, release. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, no cobra. Shoulders squeezing in. Exhale, release. Press the feet. Lift up, broaden the collarbones, tuck your toes, exhale, downward facing dog. Once you're in down dog, bend your right knee, feel the back of the left leg working, press through the hands, bend the other knee now, switching up the stretch, and exhale, release. Taking a few breaths in down or you can repeat that um, walking action with your legs. Again, shaking your neck out, feeling your hamstrings open, hips stretching back, spine lengthening. Look forward when you're ready. Inhale, step forward, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, bend knee option. Inhale, reach your arms out and up. And exhale, palms in heart center. In breath, reaching up. Exhale, folding into half. 
half way lift in breath. Exhale, stepping back into plank. Now you can do the option as I showed before or into a full chaturanga, your choice. Cobra or up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Now to warm up our core a little, I'm just going to be doing a few planks and down dogs. As I said, going to go with the flow. That's what I feel like at the moment. So reach your legs back. Heels pressing into this imaginary wall at the back as you reach forward, rounding with the shoulders, reaching the weight, lifting the weight away rather than collapsing down. Exhale, downward facing dog. Few more rounds. Inhale into plank. Exhale, down dog. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. One more, inhale and exhale, coming into a still dog for two breaths. Lift your heels, step forward, halfway lift, exhaling, fold. Inhale, reach the arms out and up. And exhale, palms at heart center. Let's do one more. In breath. Out breath. Reaching your head forward. Exhale, step or you can jump back. Your choice. Chaturanga or half push up. Up dog or low cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now, as I said, we're going to work our core and we're doing our shoulders. So, you're going to give you an option here. Now, if you want to challenge yourself in down dog, you can sort of bend your elbows halfway in. So, just a little bit of the weight coming into the hands, slightly into the forearms, but just hovering above the mat. Oh, that's good. Keep breathing. Keep your belly firm like you did at the start. And press back into a down dog. Let's do that one more time. So, micro bending the elbows. Beginning to imagine like you're going to go into a forearm. Down into dog. Stay. And then lifting back up. Look forward, step forward, halfway lift. Exhaling, fold. Reach your arms up, Uttita Hastasana. Exhale, palms at heart center. Surya Namaskar B, let's do two rounds, just to warm up. Inhale, Uttanasana, chair pose. Exhale, Uttanasana, release your neck. Half fill lift, inhale. Exhale, step back or jump back, your choice. Knees down or chaturanga, low cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward dog. Now, reach your right leg forward, foot between hands, ground your back heel, warrior one inhale. Exhale, release, vinyasa, your choice. Left leg stepping it forward, rounding your back heel. Vira Bhadrasana 1. Exhale. Again, you can do a full push up. If you want to avoid it all together, you can even just go into a down dog straight. Let's take five breaths here. Finding your center. Remembering the flow of your breath. Can we let ourselves just go with what's coming up or do you keep having to see what's happening? Are you 
can trust the voice leading you through this practice and lift your heels step forward halfway exhaling fold inhale Utkar Asana exhale back to center one more round of that inhale chair pose exhale fold inhale lengthen step or hop back your choice your options for your vinyasa and exhale down dog warrior one to the right step it forward reaching up inhale exhale release again your options for your vinyasa just keep doing what feels good for you I'm only guiding you that at the end of it you got to follow what's right for you and your body and vinyasa again you're listening to my voice telling you what to do but also remember to keep listening to your body it's giving you your options it's giving you your choices can you let that voice guide you and let you flow look forward lift your heels hop or step forward exhaling fold chair pose weight in the heels and exhale palms at heart center let's close the eyes and take two breaths body should be nice and warm sweaty and ready to keep moving all right inhale reach your arms out to now exhale folding into half surrender half lift inhale options of stepping into down dog or taking a vinyasa your choice if you're taking a vinyasa you can take a low cobra instead of an up dog and meet back in down dog now inhale lift your right leg up reaching back with the heel and exhale bring the right knee into the right elbow inhale reaching up exhale right knee right elbow Inhale, reach up again. This time, right knee to right nose and look forward. Step it forward between the hands. Um, ground your back foot. You can take the foot a bit to the outside of the mat if you need to the left side. Right hand parallel. Inhale, come up into warrior one. Reaching your hands up rather than interlacing the fingers in this one. Keeping your shoulders relaxed, gazing at one point in front of you and pressing through the back foot rather than just collapsing into the right leg or into your lower back. As you press through the back foot, can you deepen the stretch from the right thigh? And now interlace the fingers behind you. Inhale, you can lift your chest into a little bit of a back bend. Exhale into humble warrior. So you can be here, you can be here, or if you feel like your crown reaches the ground, go ahead and do that. I don't think that's happening for me. Maybe never, who knows? And even here, instead of just completely collapsing, can I feel a lift in my legs? Can I feel my core working? As I surrender, can I still find a sense of stability rather than just letting go completely? 
and inhale now lift up half way you can keep your hands here or palms at half center bend your back knee reach forward into warrior three so back leg strong bottom leg strong palms can be at half center or interlace at the back oh oh all right that's fine just find your balance if you fell off like me and now exhale, step your left foot forward, coming back to the front leg. Now, cup your arms behind you, any way that you like, and begin to put the weight into the left leg. As you put the weight into the left leg, begin to lift your right leg up, foot off the mat, and bending your left knee, reaching back, into a lunge very, very slowly into a high lunge and we're just going to open our chest here into a little bit of back bend and exhale, lunge down Optional vinyasa or downward facing dog. Your choice. Take a breath in through the nose. Open your mouth. Let it go. Let's do that two more times. Inhale. Left leg up now. Exhale, left knee into left elbow or tricep. Inhale, reaching back. Breathing out, knee into tricep or elbow. Inhale, reaching back. And bring the knee in towards the nose. Look forward and step it forward. Ground your back foot. Leg can be, foot can be placed on the right side of the mat. Keep your left thigh parallel. Inhale, come up. Into warrior one. Stay strong. Arms separated rather than interlacing the fingers. Belly strong. Again, as we put the weight into the back foot, can we deepen our hip opener from the left thigh? Can we feel that stretch in a different way than we did in our Surya Namaskar B? Notice, when your mind wanders, can you come back to your body? And interlace the fingers at the back. Awkward grip, so whatever feels awkward to you, just interlace it that way, the other way. Lift your chest and exhale, humble warrior. Be okay with wherever you are. Working your legs, but also your sense of surrender, letting go while being strong. Probably a really difficult thing to do, but Important to do once in a while, like in this posture. And lift yourself up, palms at heart center or same interlace. Bend your back knee, step forward, warrior three. Breathe as you gaze at one point. As you notice if you're using your Core muscles, your lower abdomen muscles engaged. If you fall out, just come back into the pose. Bend your back knee, step forward into stand. Great. Cup your elbows behind your head. 
the other way again, whichever feels awkward, and begin to put the weight in your right leg now. Foot grounding, left leg lifting, and slowly, gracefully, if you can, taking yourself back into a lunge, high lunge, coming into your high lunge here. Sorry, I literally just <laughs> started to think, what is this posture? Keeping your back leg strong, belly strong, letting your shoulder blades move in towards each other as you lift up, your knee back bend, and exhale, release. Optional vinyasa or downward facing dog. You can always drop your knees and take a child's pose. So just doing what feels nice for you. As you're flowing, don't forget that you're still feeling centered. So just doing what feels right with your options. All right, now begin to bend the elbows like you did in the downward way to start. Forearms hovering above the mat. Stay. Breathe for three. Your shoulders should be burning for two. And one into down low. We'll do that two more times. If you don't want to do that, you can straight away get into a dolphin. But it's a really good way to build strength. Micro bend the elbows, forearms hovering, lower abdomen muscles working, legs are strong and straighten. Last time, come back into that stretch. And exhale, release, drop your knees. Come on to your fours. You're going to relax the shoulders a little bit now. So inhale, reach your right arm up. And exhale, thread your right arm under the left. Right cheek right here on the mat. Now you can keep your left hand as it is. Or you can stretch it out in front of you. If you feel like you can take the left arm over. Tuck it into your right thigh. If you're feeling balanced, straighten your left leg. And just enjoy the stretch in the shoulder. Enjoy that twist. And drop your left leg, straighten left knee, release your left hand, inhale, reach your right arm up and exhale, release, other side, lift your left arm and exhale, thread it under the right, left ear on the mat, options with your hand, straighten that arm or take it over, tuck it into the thigh. And right leg can straighten your option. Drop that right knee. Release your hand. Inhale, reach your left arm, exhale, drop it down. Now walk your hands forward into puppy pose. So arms walking forward, chest releasing in towards the ground. You can drop your forehead down, keep your hips lifted. 
and you can drop your elbows or you can keep them off the mat depending on what intensity you want. Working into the shoulder blades, excellent stretch for the upper body. So feeling your thoracic spine working, your chest opening. Drop your four, uh, knee elbows down now into the mat. And let's slide forward into space pose. So legs out straight. Feet slightly away from each other. Resting on your forearms. Feeling a stretch in your chest. This is a really great back bend. If you have low back injuries, it's a nice way to just feel the same benefits of a cobra, a full cobra or other back bends. Feels is just excellent to practice. And super safe. And release into the mat. Right here on the mat, take a few breaths. Alright, another shoulder stretch. So extend your left arm out in straight in line with the left shoulder. Take your right hand and press it into the, uh, your fingers into the ground. Lift your right leg off and just rotate yourself open towards the left side. Rounding the right foot in, taking it over the left leg. You'll begin to feel a stretch in your left shoulder. And if this is good, you can even try and reach your right arm over and grab hold of, well, wherever, your fingers, you can interlace it well, if that's accessible. If this is too much, just kick it back a notch. You don't have to necessarily do this. It's quite an intense stretch. Release your right hand, fingers on the mat, come back to the center. Just let your um, left cheek drop to the mat for like three breaths. And extend your right arm out, left fingers on the mat, flipping over towards the other side. So left foot on the ground, over the right leg. Staying here, which is really good, or taking your left arm over and maybe being able to interlace. So my right shoulder is a bit more stiff, so I'll just stay here because this feels really nice and enough. So each side may be different, just accept it. That's just how it is. Come back to the center, release your leg out, press yourself back, cobra or swings, exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your heels off, bend your knees, you can hop or just come into a seat. So extending your legs out in front of you. Alright, we're going to work our uh, core now, but from a seated posture. If you want to sit on a block, this is where the block's helpful. If you want to sit on it, you can, or just leave it next to you here. So, palms resting in front of you, arms straight. You can keep a micro bend in the elbows. We're going to begin to lift up right leg up. So, you feel your core working. My fingers on the ground. Stay for five, breathe. Four, three, two, and release. If that's an absolute no, you can keep your knee bent and you can lift it up. So that's fine as well because our hamstrings need to be open for that stretch and sometimes it's not. So, so fingers on the ground again, uh, lower belly hugging in, lower abdomen, 
strong, uh, both your legs active, toes flex, and left leg off. For five, for four, for three, for two, and one. Release. Okay, now let's repeat that one more time. So fingers down on each leg. So right leg off for five. Keep breathing for four. You've got this for three, two, and one. Oh, right leg a bit more stiff today. All right, left side, come on, four, five breaths here. Two, and one. Release, shake it off. You can just bend both knees or one and the other. And we're going to try that with both legs now. It's going to be a bit of a challenge. There might be a little bit of a rounding in the shoulders. That's fine. We're just going to go through with it. And if you can't, you can repeat one leg and the other. So palms pressing down now. Keeping the lower abdomen engaged. Ooh. All right. So keeping it engaged. Begin to lift. Five, four, three, two, and one. Release. Shake it off. Ooh, that I feel in my thigh and my belly. All right. So bring the soles of your feet together. Just gonna do a little bit of a hip stretch before we lie down. So lace your fingers underneath it. Underneath the feet. Inhale, lengthen. Use your elbows to keep your legs open like a book. Exhale, just a very gentle hip opener here. Badakonasan. If you've ever tried to hold this for five minutes, the posture looks completely different from when you begin to start doing it. So if you actually have the time, pause the video and just stay here. This is just an amazing pose to work your inner thighs, to release like hips are known as the junkyard of the body. In, if we talk about the chakras, it's the lowest chakra. So we just sort of can let go of so many things if we just do a few hip stretches once in a while. Let's stay for like 20 more seconds. towards each other and lie down on your mat. We're going to do a few, a little bit of core work before we completely cool down. So feet off the mat, <clears throat> knees just above the hips, in line with the hips. Interlace your fingers at the back. If you have a neck pain, keep your head and neck down, that's fine. Inhale, exhale, left elbow, right knee. Inhale, exhale, the other side. Inhale, exhale, center and right elbow, left knee. Keep doing that a few times. Let's do 10, 9, 8, 7. Keep breathing. 5, 4 more. Last one on each side and release. Bring your knees into your chest. 
Give yourself a squeeze. You can gently massage your lower back here by rocking forward and back very, very slightly. And release your feet down. Take a breath. Okay, we're going to do that one more time. So, bring your knees off, bring your feet off. Interlace the fingers, head off the mat. Inhale, exhale right. Inhale, exhale left. For 10, 9, keep going. 8, don't let go of the breath. You can fasten the pace if you want. That's your choice. 4 more. 3, 2, and 1. Release. Again, give yourself a squeeze. Oh, almost coming to the end of the practice now. Now, let's throw the right thigh with the left. Lift your feet off the mat. Grab hold of the foot of the in outer arches. So I have flat feet. I literally don't have an arch. It's really weird. <laughs> But I've found that yoga helps a lot with all these strange things, our bodies, how, they, how different they are. But yoga somehow helps in the balance. To tweak, to adjust. Okay, coming back to the pose. Keep giving yourself a squeeze. You should feel the back of your right leg working, the right hip working, and release. Now take it over to the other side, squeezing the legs as close to you as you can. You don't have to really push yourself too much now, unless of course that's where you're going, but you know, when you begin to cool down, just let yourself be. And release. Now coming into a happy baby. Or what I might actually do is take a bit of an inversion, um, a restorative one. So you can just come into a happy baby, which is bend your knees, grab and hold of your big toes or your feet and just opening your legs out. You can even just hold your ankles if you want and just enjoying this hip opener here. Or what I may actually do is take my block, place it near my sacrum very safely, bend my knees and lift my legs up. Any women, um, please avoid this during menstruation. And this is again really nice to get yourself to relax. If you find it difficult to sleep sometimes in the night, and a lot of us do as stress begins to build up. So you can practice this posture before you sleep like this or against the wall. Take like 10 breaths in it. And it just gets you to stay and relax and quieten the mind down completely. So many benefits. Inversions help to calm the nervous system, which is what we want, we want to activate the parasympathetic nervous system, which is the one that's not always on, which is what our lives usually are these days. We're always on. So can you just be and go with what's coming up and just letting yourself flow? And you can stay here for as long as you need. And eventually making your way into Shavasana. 
So then removing the block very slowly if you've taken that. If you're in happy baby, just come into Shavasana once you're ready. And I encourage you to stay in Shavasana, which is the final resting pose for at least 20 breaths. Give yourself that time. That's what we work in our practice for. So once you come into stillness, legs away from each other, arms beside the body, you close your eyes and just take your time to settle down. Stay here for as long as you need and just pausing the video here, just shutting it down. I just want to say thank you for watching, like, subscribe and please share if you enjoyed this video. Thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed that flow. Namaste.